Good morning, students. Hope you all are fine and safe at your homes. This video is for class 2. My name is Flora and I am your English Mulberry teacher. Today, I am going to teach you a wonderful poem called The Little Plant by Kate Louis Brown from page number 25 to 27. Poem, The Little Plant by Kate Louis Brown. So student, I am going to read aloud this poem and after that we all will read again this poem aloud. Let's start. In the heart of a seed Buried deep, so deep. A tiny plant lay fast asleep. Wake, said the sunshine, and creep to the light. Wake, said the voice of the raindrops bright. The little plant heard. And it rose to see what the wonderful outside world might be. Isn't it wonderful students? So, let's together read the poem aloud. In the heart of a seed Buried deep so deep, a tiny plant lay fast asleep. Wake, said the sunshine, and creep to the light. Wake, said the voice. Of the raindrops bright. The little plant heard and it rose to see what the wonderful outside world might be. Explanation of the poem. Now I will explain you the poem. Listen and try to understand carefully. In the first stanza, you can see that a seed is buried under the soil and he is sleeping deeply. That means the seed is under the ground and he is sleeping deeply without any disturbance. And he also don't know what things are there outside the world. In the second stanza, Sunlight asks him to wake up and the rainwater gave him the final alarm. 
by spreading water on the seed. That means the sunlight and the raindrops wanted the seed to wake up and come out slowly to see the world outside. In the third stanza, seeds grew up as a little plant and discover the beautiful world. That means after listening the voices of sunlight and raindrops, the seed grow slowly and come out as a tiny plant. And after coming out, he saw a beautiful world. Student, I think now the poem is very much clear to you. Students, now let's understand the word meanings properly. Number one, buried, hid in the ground. It means the seed is hiding under the ground. Second, fast asleep. That means Sleeping deeply. It means the seed is sleeping comfortably and without any disturbance. Third, creep. Move slowly. It means the seed is growing slowly into a little plant. All these three meanings we have already understood in our poem. Now, students, once again, let's read out the word meanings. Buried Hid in the ground Fast asleep Sleeping deeply. Creep. Move slowly. Students, so let's begin with our worksheet or exercise. Making connection. Question 1. Put a tick against the sentence that are true and put a cross against the sentence that are false. Which means what we have to do? We have to put a correct mark against the sentence which are correct and we have to put a cross mark against the sentence which are false. Okay? First, the seed was buried in the ground. What should be the answer? It is a correct statement that the seed was buried in the ground. Next, there was a tiny plant in the seed. Yes, students. This statement is also correct. As we know, the seed contained a tiny plant which was growing slowly with the help of sunlight and raindrops. Next, the tiny plant was awake at the beginning of the poem. Wrong, right? That means the tiny plant was 
not awake at the beginning of the poem next the tiny plant fell asleep at the end of the poem i know you know this answer this answer is wrong the tiny plant was not sleeping at the end of the poem what he was doing he came out from the ground and see the wonderful world worksheet making connections read the lines and answer the questions given below what we have to do we have to read the lines which are given below and then find out the answers so let's read the lines the little plant heard and it rose to see what the wonderful outside world might be now let's find out the answers of the questions which are given below now we will find out the answers of these questions first whose voice did the little plant hear can you tell me okay the little plant heard the voices of sunlight and raindrops as we have studied earlier in our poem so the little plant heard whose voices the little plant heard the voices of sunlight and raindrops question 2 What did the little plant do? Now student understand the question. Here what did the little plant do? After listening to their voices, what did the little plant do? The little plant woke up and saw the wonderful world. Next, which word rhymes with C? Now you must be thinking that what does the word rhyme means Yes I will tell you what is the word rhyme means but before going to that we should find out the answer So which word rhymes with C The word rhyme with C is B worksheet question 3 what do you think the little plant saw in the wonderful outside world can you guess some examples what the plant can see after coming out from the soil or the from the ground okay i'll tell you the plant saw rain sun flowers and trees what the plant saw rain sun flowers and trees in the wonderful outside world worksheet appreciation rhyming pairs now again you must be thinking why ma'am is using all the time this word rhyming now i am going to tell you what rhyming pair actually means but before that 
we should read the question one. Plants need rain and so do we. Let's read aloud a poem about rain. So, this poem is all about rain. Let's read it. The rain is raining all around. It falls on field and tree. It rains on the umbrellas here and on the ships at sea. So, can you match some words from this poem? I can match. Tree, the word tree and the word sea. These two words are similar sound, having a similar sound. That means rhyming pairs or rhyming word means two or more words that have same or similar ending sound. Yes, students. I am going to repeat it again for you. Rhyming pairs or rhyming words means two or more words that have same or similar ending sound. That means both the words are ending with similar sound. Like, for example, goat, boat, coat. Both the words are ending with same sound. That's why these words are called rhyming pair. Worksheet Question 2 Match the pictures to their rhyming pairs. Now as we can see there are two columns. On the left hand side there are some words and on the right hand side there are some pictures. So what we have to do we have to match the left hand side words with the right hand side pictures in a form of rhyming pair. Let's start. Number one is white. White is rhyming with kite. Number two, tree is rhyming with bee. House is rhyming with mouse. So what we saw? We saw Rhyming pairs, white, kite, tree, bee, house, mouse. Hope you all enjoyed this beautiful poem. Now I want that you all will write these exercise in your copies with a neat handwriting. We will meet again. Till then, be safe at your homes. And keep studying.